Good morning to all of my friends and family. I am so excited to have you join our Walking with God Bible devotions this morning. Before we pray, I would like to ask you to please consider giving these daily devotions a like and a subscribe for you to be able to be notified every time a devotion or a Bible t- study is posted. Plus, it will help me out tremendously. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your word to minister to our hearts. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide us. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, the title of today's devotion is When Life Hurts, God Heals. I'm going to be reading from the book of James, chapter 3, verse 17. It says, But the wisdom that comes from heaven is is first all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Are you someone who has a difficult time forgiving others? Are you someone who forgives and also forgets? Well, welcome to the club. Why is it so difficult to not only forgive, but forget? To most people, it is nearly impossible to forget when someone has hurt you or taken advantage of you or even your family. Life would be a lot more simple if we can just forgive and forget then move on. Don't you agree? Let's look into 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31. It says, So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. This verse tells us to glorify God in whatever we do. That means we are to glorify God through eating, drinking, singing, working, You get the picture. But do you think forgiving and forgetting would also line up in that verse? Remember, we as Christians are called to glorify God always in everything that we do, just like Jesus did when he was here on earth. Let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Paul says, Imitate me just as I imitate Christ. The decision to forgive is straightforward, but it is more difficult to forget because it is a long journey that requires time, persistence, and a whole lot of prayer. If you really desire to forgive someone, pray for that person and then pray for yourself so God will help mend and heal your heart. Let's look into Psalm 147, verse 2. It says, He, speaking of God, heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. Don't expect this journey of forgiveness to be easy or quick, but rest assured that eventually, with God helping you, you will forgive, you will forget. Always remember that the work of forgiving others is a lifelong journey that has to be done over and over again. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your help in forgiving those who have hurt us. Help us to honor you and glorify you in beginning this long journey to forgive and to forget. Please allow us to begin today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. The Lord bless you and keep you in his arms of love and give you peace.